Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. Bit rainy outside, so come indoors and I thought I'd talk you through some of the seeds that I'm going to plant and uh, then put up into the propagator. Right, so there are six things that I'm going to be uh, sowing seed for today. And the first of these is uh, parsley. It's a curly parsley. I normally grow flat leaf parsley and um, I quite fancy a change and I do like curly parsley in my soup. So yeah, so I'm going to pop some, some parsley seeds uh, into a tray and see how that goes. Next uh, is this. I was given this as a, a gift and it looks like it's uh, cinnamon basil and uh, it says it tastes like cinnamon and cloves so I look forward to trying that out. It's not meant to be sown until March though but I'm going to put some seeds in uh, today uh, in January and uh, we'll see how it goes. There's plenty of seeds so if it doesn't work out then I can, I can try again. That's my impatience uh, coming to the fore. Then on to some flowers, Antherinum or Antirinum or Snapdragon. <laughs> and here's the first one of three that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, sow seeds for. This one is a Bron Blonchetti or maybe Bron Blonchetti eye. And um, it's a yellow Snapdragon that um, I certainly haven't grown before. So uh, I'm going to have a try at those. And then another Snapdragon, a coloured one this time, and this is called Circus Clowns. So uh, we'll see how we go with that. Snapdragons, I think, are amazing flowers. Have you ever watched uh, an insect um, go into a Snapdragon flower? It's almost like there's a, a, a little... Um, a little doorway in the sort of land on part of the and I'm not good at um, parts of flowers but part of the petal and as it, as they land it almost opens up the flower so they can get in to get the the pollen and the nectar so um, I, I really love watching insects on on snapdragon uh, flowers third variety of snapdragons I'm going to try uh, is this rust resistant mix uh, I haven't struggled with, with rust in, in my snapdragon plants, um, but uh, you never know. So um, I quite like just the look of these, um, the, the colours in this one, and the fact that it's resistant to rust or, or meant to be is an added bonus. And finally for today um, is this Cleome. I'm going to have a try at growing. I have not done very well with Cleomies in the past. So uh, we'll see how I get on with this one now that I've got my super duper um, <laughs> propagator upstairs to help get them started anyway. So I'm going to get on and get these all sewn and um, I'll talk a little bit about what I've done um, in uh, the next part of the video. So I've sewn the seeds into these little dinky trees. And as usual, I've mixed vermiculite in with a seed compost as the basis, and then I've topped off with some vermiculite. Well, that's me for now. Thanks very much for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you again soon.